the last thing you want to do is for Susan to send you home. Do they do that in corporate workspaces or is it just for school? Welcome back to my channel, Karina here. You guys have been asking me to do a work outfits video for such a long time and I apologize it's taking me so long to deliver this video but it's finally here. So excited to be showing you these new work outfits that I've put together for the week so I've got your Monday to Friday covered. I know that when it comes to workplace attire there is quite a wide range of what is considered acceptable and what is considered to violate the workplace dress code. These looks are all looks that I consider to be professional, business casual, put together, sophisticated and should be okay for most offices. Also, I know that the temperature tends to vary a lot depending on where you are right now. So these outfits are what to wear in the office, not what to wear when you're on the commute bus to the office. The beautiful thing is that these looks can be worn all four seasons in the office and they don't break your bank, which is super important. Everything in this video is from Motif, who is the sponsor for today's video. For all my regular viewers out there, you guys know I'm a huge fan of Motif. I think they have such quality stuff that looks way way more expensive than they actually are. I've gotten so much stuff from Motif throughout the years and I can say hands down my experience in Motif has been very very positive. Every single piece is made with attention to detail so you're not gonna have that, those you know loose threads hanging about and they just have that more polished more premium vibe to them. If you're shopping for work outfits Motif has got such a wide variety of stuff too ranging from business casual all the way to like business sophisticated business professional. So let me just go ahead and show you these five looks I've put together from Monday to Friday. We are starting off with the first office look that is clean, that is polished, that is effortlessly chic. I went for a satin collared blouse that is a very creamy, neutral, kind of almondish color and I paired it with this high-waisted work pants that's in the same color family. So this pair of high-waisted work pants actually comes in two clasps. You guys can see there's a button here to secure it and then you have this metal clasp that closes like this and it feels so soft and smooth against your skin. There's also a really cool slit design down the hem of the pants. And then for the blouse area, you have a column of buttons here that is concealed. So you don't get that instance where, you know, if you like bend over, if you're like twist a different way, there'll be a gap showing between the buttons. And then the cuffs area here, there are some like lace trim details on both sides, which adds a touch of femininity. And I'm just wearing my super comfy booties with this look. But if you want to, you can also switch to a pair of flats when you arrive at the office. That's what I used to do. I have like a few pairs of like office shoes, you know, consisting of like flats and like pumps and slingbacks and I would just rotate throughout the week. If you think this head to toe creamy look is too monochromatic for your liking, then I always suggest you guys throw on a blazer of some sort. You guys know I own a lot of blazers, right? Like it's no joke. I think in this video right here, there's about 20 something blazers. Somebody counted. But anyway, I just want to say that this blazer from Motif has got a faux leather exterior, which is all the rage right now. Okay, super duper trendy. I feel like this is something that you can wear as an outerwear even for the fall time when you're arriving to the office. And if it's appropriate for your office attire, you can keep it on for that girl boss kind of edgy look throughout the day. If it's frowned upon to be wearing faux leather in your office, you can just take it off when you're there and throw it back on when you're leaving the office. So this is perfect for that transitional look, you know, between like work to after work. If you're meeting up with your friends for drinks or like going out for a movie, it's so versatile to have. So this is a single breasted blazer. It's long on the inside has two pockets on the front here and the exterior of the blazer actually doesn't remind me of a cheap looking garbage bag so that's a huge huge plus okay i want to move on to the bag that i went with for this look so i wanted a bucket bag for the longest time i personally find that when i was working at a corporate job bucket bags were one of the easiest bags to carry around because you can just literally open it and throw your entire life belonging in it so even if you're carrying you know like your car keys your key card your wallet, your hair clips, your pepper sprays, your lunch, like everything would fit into here. And there's two straps so you can choose whichever one works for you. You can just wear it on the shoulder like this or you can go with the longer strap which is adjustable. And you can have it either crossbody or like on one shoulder with like a coat for example. Okay, next up we are going for something a little bit more colorful and that is a striped shirt. This is something that you can wear over like a white tank top for example or you can just wear bare against your skin. That's what I'm doing and it's not see-through at all which I super appreciate. Just want to take it out so you guys can see what it looks like. So when you just put it on like this, doesn't it look kind of like 
flat and it doesn't like make your outfit pop as much so here's how you can jazz up your collared shirts guys so first off let's look at the cuffs there is a button around the cuffs area that you can unbutton and we're gonna flip it outwards so that is step number one step number two what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift this section up and scrunch it up past our elbows just a little bit so that this area here the cuffs is sitting below your elbows that's the best spot for it and third what we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck it in halfway so i feel like with these three steps we successfully managed to make a collared shirt go from flat and boring to a little bit more elevated and in case your workplace doesn't let you do this half tucked in half leaving out thing you can just feel free to do the whole thing in okay so now let's move on to the pants so these pants for those of you who remember, I actually featured in a summer motif haul. I love it so, so much. And this really goes to show that you can reuse a pair of pants for like summer, fall, and winter to spring, basically anytime. Something as basic as a pair of black high-waisted pants like this can really, really go a long way. So the thing about this pants is that it does have a crop length. And I know for a lot of you guys, this is something that you don't want to be wearing during fall and winter time. And I completely understand during the commute to the office, I would wear long wool socks covering this area and then throwing on a pair of knee-high boots over so I completely cover this area of my leg and then when you get to the office you can just take it off and switch into your loafers I think this is a really good tip to be able to get more use out of your clothes than going out and getting the same pair of pants essentially but at different crop lengths outerwear time I love myself a good trench coat this trench coat is made with such sturdy material that it doesn't feel like one of those like flimsy papery kind that can just like fly away like a piece of tissue paper it has a really good weight to it and then when you put it on it instantly gives you that structured look as opposed to like a casual relaxed silhouette so for that reason i think this trench coat is perfect for going to work especially when paired with a lot of your professional outfits underneath your overall vibe is just going to be elevated like 10,000 degrees higher it comes with pockets at the front as well as a belt that you can tie in at the front so for those of you who are looking for a good quality very structured trench coat i think this is a perfect choice for you i also like to roll up the trench coat sleeves just a little bit showing my forearms but of course that is entirely up to you i'm so excited for this next outfit this is the fit that i totally would be wearing back to the office and it kind of makes me a little bit sad that i won't be able to because now i work in my bedroom so we have on top a little mock neck tank top that is so adorable okay first of all let me just show you how stretchy it is and it is so comfortable you can wear it all four seasons look it is so stretchy the fact that it is a thin knit like ribbed like this but it's somehow still not see-through is very impressive to me and let me show you this little ribbon detail here it is so cute if I bought this top when I was still going back to work I would be wearing this top maybe like two or three times a week I know what you guys are thinking you guys are probably screaming inside you're not able to show your shoulders at work and I've got you don't worry my sweet babies here is what you're going to do you are going to invest in a good blazer like this not only do you cover up this ribbon area you have completely covered up that sexy shoulder of yours that might be a distraction to all the boys working in your office or for whatever reason your office has that weird dress code <gasps> can you tell i'm not a fan of dress codes but anyway if you guys are looking for a good quality white blazer this is it this feels so luxurious and i feel so put together and so successful in this blazer it is quite shocking to me how my mood just went from from like uh, dress codes to like mm, oh my god i look gd impressive and professional in this like you can totally trust me can't you i look so reliable i think this might be my power blazer you know every girl should own one or two power blazers in your closet for like when you're feeling a little bit down or like a little bit not so confident in yourself which most days for me you can just like pull out your power blazer throw it on instant functional adult successful adult so it's mine on the inside it's a really crisp white and the back has a cut out slit like this and there is pockets on the two sides it's also single breasted comes with built-in shoulder pads that are not too massive but still structured enough so that you know you can feel confident calling all the shots ah, i just love this blazer so much if this is summer by the way i would totally be rocking this blazer with like a t-shirt and jeans i think it's super versatile okay onto these pants these pants are a pair of khaki pants that are very high-waisted here's my belly button and i can pull it all the way up here this is really really good for those of you who maybe have an elongated 
torso and want to shorten that ratio a little bit, this is the pant for you because you're able to pull it so high. It's gonna elongate your legs. And also it gives me like a Kim K kind of hit because it just like comes outwards this way. It has a pleated design and it is also a crop pants. Now I've noticed a lot of work pants being cropped this year. In my previous office was always burning hot. Okay, I live in Canada and it gets to like negative tubulin degrees sometimes in the winter and my office would be like on fire. It feels like literal hell in there. Not that I would know because I've never been to hell, you know, and I never will. Please let me know in the comment box down below if your office tends to run hot or cold in the winter time. In case you have the same problem like me, then pants like this would be your savior. There's also nothing worse than wearing a pair of overly long pants just to trip over your heels as you're going down the stairs to a meeting room that you're five minutes late for. True story happened to me. Let me just like compose myself. I get too excited when I like talk about these things. This bag, hands down, my favorite bag from this haul, okay? It just, what does it remind you of? Come on, look at it. Just look at the shape of it, look at the design. It just reminds me of the Chanel purse without the Chanel price tag. It's got gold threads all over it, but not in like a super overbearing way. And when you open it, faux leather interior and the inside, very roomy. And then you have these two double chains here, which I think is super classy and feminine. And this would be the perfect work bag to go with all kinds of outerwear, all kinds of blazers. It is truly a universal bag because it just goes with so many outfits. It being a super neutral color, of course, just complements every single color palette that you're wearing. Especially, I've seen so many times when people veer so much into the darker palettes, like you have your dark browns and your blacks for work, and this is a breath of fresh air. If you're sick and tired of wearing pants for work, you can switch things up and go with a knee-length skirt. So this skirt, when I first saw it, I absolutely fell in love with it. This entire look would also be something that I would wear personally to my office. I love the asymmetry in the geometrical designs. I feel like the interesting design of it just takes away the boringness of like a regular solid knee-length skirt, for example. So I just paired it with this white top that is actually a bodysuit. I love, love bodysuits for professional looks because what Whatever you wear over it, you're not gonna have that chance of it sliding up and showing your midriff, you know, and then Sam or Susan from HR is looking at you weird. Zero chance of that happening. And this one, I think, is just the right amount of professional and feminine. If for some reason your workplace doesn't let you wear any tops that show your elbow, for some reason, you just pull it all the way down like this. So you're technically not breaking the dress code, but I like it scrunched up like this. I think it gives that little like puff sleeve effect and it makes it that much cuter, as opposed to the side where the elastic is just like literally sitting under your elbow. The sleeves are a mesh material, which makes them really breathable and lightweight and you actually don't feel them too much. Whereas the body part of this actually comes in like a cotton chevron material and it's also very stretchy without being see-through, which is really important. I tried on enough white tops to know which ones would be see-through and which ones are not. I still suggest you guys to stay safe and go with a skin-colored bra on the bottom if you're going to be wearing something like this because the last thing you want to do is for Susan to send you home. Do they do that in corporate workspaces or is it just for school? But either way, if you think this is too plain for the office, feel free to jazz it up with a blazer of some sort. So we have two power blazers here, a black one and the white one. Okay, let me know which one you like better, the white one or the black one. Personally, I think I prefer the black one because faux leather always makes me feel more badass than I actually am and makes me have the courage to tell Susan to shove it. Okay, so it is Friday and you're looking for that something that is less professional, more casual, more flowy, and this is such a great dress to wear. On Fridays, it feels so comfortable to be in. So when you think of a work dress, I think most of us would instantly think of like a black dress that is pretty tight and uncomfortable to be in. And this dress is the exact opposite of that. It is so soft, so flowy, so comfortable to be in. In fact, I feel like I'm in my PJs, yet at the same time, it gives off that professional polished look. So you're definitely not sacrificing comfort for chicness here. So this is a midi length. So from on me, it comes down to about a couple inches below my knee, which I think most professional settings would approve of this sort of length. In the middle, there is a column of buttons. So for me, I chose 
chose to unbutton the last one here just to give it that more flow and more movement. The waistband here is a little bit elastic, so it gives you more room to like actually move in without constricting your flow or your movement. But my favorite detail has got to be this little bow tie area right here. So it actually comes with two ribbons that's tied to the collar and you would just have to tie it into a ribbon. I think this is so elegant to wear to a workplace. Feel free to throw on a blazer on top, you know, one of your power blazers. Even if you're commuting to work, just throw on that trench coat and some fleece tights under, you know, a warm pair of booties. And then when you arrive at your workplace, switch into your slingbacks or your heels. I can tell you hands down that this is definitely more comfortable to be in than any of the other work combos that I've been putting together. If this comes in five colors, I would grab all five and just alternate. So that's it for all the work outfits I have prepared for you for this video. Hopefully I've got your week covered and feel free to mix and match any of these items with stuff you already have in your closet. Don't forget to check out the description box for everything that we've talked about in this video as well as a discount code. Whether you're starting a brand new job or you're going back to the office for the first time in a few years, I hope this video gives you some ideas and some inspo of how to dress. And as always, good luck. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! True story, it happened to me. I was wearing something that is super, super long. It like almost touches the floor with my heels. And yes, I tripped on it. And yes, I did fall on my face down a flight of stairs while I was running to a meeting. Oh, I hate the corporate world so much. <laughs>